Arizona State University still has a path to make it to the Big 12 Championship. And it's not as simple as just, hey, everyone ahead of them just lose all their games. Because that's just unrealistic and it doesn't make any sense in the terms of this. It's better than just saying everyone ahead of them in the rankings just lose all their games for ASU just to jump them. This is more of like, we're going to be breaking tiebreakers with, say, like Colorado, where Colorado will only have to lose one game, which is definitely plausible. So the first step for ASU would be essentially to win out. You have Kansas State in Kansas. You have BYU at home, Arizona at Arizona. So a lot of these games would be very difficult. Actually, I think I would say all of them would be very difficult because you have two ranked teams and you have a rivalry game at the very end, which is not at home. I would say this is probably the most difficult path to success for a Big 12 team right now in the league for their final three games. And I think if ASU were to win this, they would have a strong argument to make it, but they will still have to rely on a lot of other teams, which is what we're going to be doing here. Even if ASU wins out, does everything they need to do, they still rely on other teams for success other than just everyone ahead of them lose. First, we'll need Colorado to lose at least one more game because ASU is X2 in Big 12 play and Colorado is not. BYU is undefeated, so they don't have any losses. Preferably, you would want Kansas to be a loss because Kansas is currently higher ranked in the Big 12 than the other two, and you would want that to be the better tiebreaker when it comes down to if you were to trickle all the way down. But it doesn't really matter which team loses here as long as Colorado loses to one of them. Now, I chose Kansas because Kansas is away game for Colorado the other two are home and I say Colorado plays worse away than at home so I think Kansas is the most plausible game that could be a loss for Colorado not saying it would happen but I'm saying it's the most plausible next West Virginia would need to beat Texas Tech and this is where the tiebreakers come in because according to Big 12's tiebreaker essentially you're going down to the head heads and then you're going to go down to your next highest common opponent which will then be Kansas State or Texas Tech and ASU already lost to Texas Tech but they beat Kansas State in our scenario so you'd want Kansas State to be ahead of Texas Tech so that, that would be the team that they see okay that is your next highest common opponent and you'd want Kansas State to be that other than Texas Tech because if you want ASU to be in a championship game next you would want Iowa State to lose to Kansas State because Kansas State and Texas Tech don't technically play each other so you need their tiebreakers to show that Kansas State is a better team than Texas Tech so just in the off chance that Texas Tech does have the same final record as Kansas State, you want Kansas State to hold that over Texas Tech. Next, you want Kansas State to beat Cincinnati. You don't want Cincinnati to climb, 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 because if they get matched up with a 5-4 and four record with everybody else, then Cincinnati would essentially bounce a lot of these teams, and Colorado beat t Cincinnati, and Cincinnati beat ASU. So you don't want Cincinnati to climb, climb, climb. And you'd want Iowa State to beat Cincinnati because, since, like I said, Cincinnati will be climbing, climbing, climbing if Cincinnati wins out. This would be the standings with that, with all of those extra hurdles, I say. You'd have BYU, ASU, Colorado, Kansas State, Iowa State. Kansas State would be ahead of Iowa State in this scenario because they will hold the tiebreaker. They have the head-to-head. -head. And the next highest opponent for the tiebreaker between ASU and and Colorado would beat Kansas State, and ASU in this scenario would beat Kansas State, while Colorado has already lost to Kansas State. In the championship, it would be ASU versus BYU, and ASU would have their opportunity to make it to the 12-team playoff if they were to upset BYU in this game. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Ring the bell for more. Peace.